Hi, this is the weekly update for Mr. Fix's science class for the week of March 8th. All right, so this week we did the last lesson in chemical reactions unit. We did lesson 3.4, what was inside the West Coast water. So students had to eventually determine what besides rust was produced in the water in Westfield. And so they had to choose from sodium nitrite and potassium chromate. And so eventually they determined it was sodium nitrite because the fertilizer had N atoms and Na atoms in as for their atom group. And so sodium nitrite is the only possibility of the, other than the rest that was produced because there was no potassium in the water, there was no chromium in the water, so it could only have been sodium nitrite. So that was the end of the chemical reactions unit. We then did an activity called mass and chemical reactions where we took two liquids, made them react together, and we determined the mass before and afterwards, and we found out they were the same before and afterwards. So that's because the number of atoms in a chemical reaction stays the same, and basically mass is the number of atoms. It's how much stuff, how much matter you have, and matter is made of the atoms. Okay, then we did a whole bunch of practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to get ready for the chemical reactions assessment. We did um, study aids folder, the practice items in those. Uh, we did that a lot. Then we also did a chemical reaction, yes or no, where students had to look at before and after picks, and they had to do the following things. They had to state whether, yes or no, a chemical reaction happened. They provided detailed evidence from their observations of the before and after image, basically the properties. What, what was the color before and afterwards? What was the texture before and afterwards? Things like that. And then they had to explain the key concept that they used to get to the answer. So basically it was different substances have different properties. So if the substance before had different properties than the substance afterwards, you know that was a chemical reaction. So then we had the test on Friday, and that's what we did this week. Uh, here's a video clip of a gummy bear the sucrose of a gummy bear reacting with the oxygen gas that's being released by a melted down uh, potassium chlorate. So have a good one. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.